called Child of Wonder. <clears throat> when he discovered her, my father gave my mother some of that Christopher Columbus type love. You know, conquered her because she was beautiful. Stripped her of everything and left her bare. But even after all this, she still longed for his kiss. Dug her fingers into his flesh like he was the shore after a long journey at sea. This is where I come from. This is me. I am a child of conquest. Born to a man and woman who practiced in the art of wanting things they shouldn't have. And when push would come to shove, he was not above letting her know that her lips taste just like unrequited love. But I will not begrudge my mother and father for giving me the blood that flows through veins, for planting the seeds that would grow from these pains, but I've grown weary of carrying their hate. Let the seance begin. Let the spirits depart. Tear down the wall they erected that bisects my heart. My mother told me once, you were born with a tongue as sharp as a sword. When your words play warrior, you can slit her wrist. You have your father face this, and believe me, I'm no better than my father. I just know better than my father. I was never blind enough to stick love for slaughter. So if you have the courage to place your hand in mine, I will take that opportunity to kiss your pulse. Bottom of the field against skin against my lips for every twisted impulse that he instilled me, but I I look too much like my father for my mother to believe. And I look too much like my mother for my father to grieve about what he did to her, or what he did to me. They both had no qualms about leaving me. They just boarded new relationships and sailed off in exact opposite directions to far off foreign suburbs. They each took half of my heart and left me the wall. There's no way to get to the other side. But they forgot to cut off my hand. And they failed to cut off my tongue. So I used them to write a poem as sharp as a knife. And I filled the similes as hard as this life. And with it, I scraped the mortar bit by bit. Dismantled the wall brick by brick. And I stepped over the last remnants of what they did to me. And I walk away, all the way to the sea. Raised the white flag at the shipwrecked mass. So let them both know I made peace in my past. I dropped to my knees. And I kissed the shifting shore and the bleeding sea. For all they give him. Taken from me. I just kneeled there, not knowing whether to cry or smile. It's been a while since I thought I had nothing to hide. So I used my hands to mock the tide, and I carved you both one last poem in the sand. It simply reads I've been baptized by your pain, made filthy by your work, cleansed by your breath, and I find you, your loving son, child.